right? Um, good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Hello. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming. Happy to see you again, Carla. I didn't see you yesterday. What happened? Yes, I was in the hospital with my father. Oh, he yeah, had... right. Sorry about that. You... <laughs> I get it. Sorry about that. How is he doing? Is is he doing fine or? So-so. So-so, okay. Hopefully he can feel better soon. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Well, happy to see you again. And thank you for being on time. I'm sorry I, I was a little delayed. I was like uh, doing something. So I apologize. So thank you for being on time, guys. Thank you. All right. So for today, guys, well, uh, yesterday we discussed like a new topic. We were working on, let me see. Let me go back. So yesterday we were talking about adjectives, right? Like uh, present and past participle adjectives, like the ones that end with ing and then the ones that end with ed. So we learned about those two things yesterday. Like for example, we said yesterday that you can you can use the adjectives that end with ing, so you can describe a noun. And then we have the ones that end with ed, so you can describe a feeling. Like for example, uh, we had like these examples, like um, the class is really boring, for example. That's, <laughs> that's just one example, right? So basically we're trying to describe a feeling. And then we have uh, the ones that end with ed that, I'm sorry, uh, it was the other way around. So basically the ones that end with ing is so we can describe a noun. Like for example, the class is boring. We're talking about the class, right? And then we have, uh, I'm bored by something. And then we are describing the feeling that we get from that. So that's what we were, we were saying yesterday. Okay, so for today, guys, we're going to learn uh, something new. We have a new topic for today. So let me see. It's going to take a quick look over here. So I can get into the topic for today. Vamos a ver. Eh, bueno, por acá. Espero que ahora se encuentren todos bien, guys. Con más ánimos. Ya estamos casi a la mitad. Bueno, estamos a la mitad de la semana. Pues, tal vez de trabajo para ustedes. Y de las clases, pues solamente tenemos la clase de ahora y la clase de mañana, ¿verdad? Así que, eh, buena noticia. Ya vamos avanzando. Ya estamos casi que a la mitad. Estamos como a la mitad del curso. Así que espero que vayamos aprendiendo algo. Como siempre los animo a que pues podamos participar, ¿verdad? Y les agradezco a los que, a los que participan siempre. De verdad, muchas gracias por estar ahí y dar sus aportes. Creo que son buenos para todos, para ustedes y para mí. Así que muchas gracias. Eh, para esta semana creo que por ahí les enviaron, ¿verdad? Solamente como recordatorio les enviaron que tenemos que terminar la sección eh, 3 y el examen de medio plazo. Veo que bastante ya, ya lo hicieron. De hecho, por acá yo puedo ver el progreso. Se lo voy a mostrar. Vamos a ver por acá. O sea, aquí tengo esto. Por aquí está el progreso. Vamos a ver cómo van. Vamos por acá. Ah, vamos a ver. Creo que esto... No, esto no es que por acá es vamos a ver miren acá lo que dice 34 personas solo vemos 14 vamos a ver vamos a ver si puedo ver más detalles por acá aquí está um... aquí está Bueno, aquí podemos ver las calificaciones. Vamos a ver cómo van. Ok. 
Hey guys, bear with me for just a second. I don't, I don't know what is going on. It seems like, okay, there we go. Vamos a ver, aquí está, miren. Acá tenemos varios que ya van como a la mitad de la sección 3, ¿verdad? Ahí está, llevamos el 50%, otros tienen 100 ya, y así. O hay algunos que ya terminaron prácticamente todo. Así que, buen trabajo. Very good, very good. Los que no lo han hecho, pues uh, los animo que lo hagamos, ¿verdad? Recuerden, eh, mañana tenemos que terminarlo, así que pueden hacerlo cuando ustedes gusten. Esa es la, la ventaja de esto. Bye, guys. So, for today, guys, we have a new topic. We are going to talk about uh, opinions. So, how we can uh, give our opinion in English. And we are going to learn, like, some words. So we can do that. Some expressions. And also, how we can ask about opinions. And then I also want you guys to practice a little bit. So we are going to have like uh, some, like, let's say maybe 20 or 15 minutes so you can practice. So we are going to do that, okay? All right, so let me just get into this. Vamos a ver por acá. Tenemos eh, por aquí un video. Lo vamos a ver rapidito. Es acerca de, digamos, opiniones. Entonces acá tenemos eh, ciertos adjetivos ya hemos visto los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos que son, lo hemos visto muchas veces. Entonces, vamos a ver algunos adjetivos que nos sirven a nosotros para dar nuestra opinión, ¿ok? Eh, creo que a veces, pues, no tenemos muy bien claro cómo podemos dar nuestra opinión en, en inglés. Así que ahorita vamos a ver algunas formas en las que los podemos hacer, ¿ok? So, we're going to listen to the video, guys, and then I will explain a couple of things to you, and then we are going to have, like, some activities, ¿ok? So you can practice. Right, so let's uh, begin. Let me just uh, do something first because I think that I don't have the audio uh, turned on, so I just need to turn it on before. Uh, I need to turn it on first. Right, so there we go. Just turn the audio on. Then we're going to listen to the video. It's really quick. Uh, it just lasts for, I think, just one minute, one or two minutes. So here we go. Vamos a ver por acá. Okay, here we go. I hope that you guys can hear. There we go. Vale, entonces acá lo primero que vamos a hacer para empezar, ¿verdad? Vamos a empezar haciendo algo para que nos, des nos despertemos. Así que tenemos este cuadro. Si ustedes pueden anotarlo en su cuaderno, pues estaría perfecto. Porque así vamos eh, nosotros ejercitando un poco. Ok, entonces tenemos acá, tenemos horrible, sería awful, ¿verdad? Feo. Then we have wonderful, maravilloso. Then stupid. Stupido y strange. So basically, guys, what we need to do is that we need to uh, put the synonyms. Okay, so what is a synonym? Uh, basically, a synonym is a word that means the same uh, than another word. Like, for example, we say awful, then horrible would be a synonym for that, right? So, for example, in this case, we can just write it down here. We can do that. Let's say, for example, we can just uh, come. We can just go here, and we can write down. Uh, in my case, I can just type it in. Horrible, right? So that's a synonym to this. And then we go to the the next one, and we have, for example, uh, disgusting, right? Okay. So what other synonyms do we have, guys? We have two more, right, for this. We have these words. Terrible. Excuse me? Terrible. Terrible. Terrible, okay. Very good. All right. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál otra de los que están acá? Dreadful. Dreadful, okay. Dreadful. So what is the meaning of dreadful, guys? Do you know? No, I don't know the term. You don't. Okay, vamos a ver quién sabe cuál es el significado de dreadful. Es como eh, espantoso o algo así. 
Sí, eh, digamos que sí. Vamos a ver quién, quién más, qué, qué piensan, qué significa. Sí, ¿verdad? Es como espantoso, terrible, pudiera ser algo así. So, yep, yeah. very good. Case that you guys didn't know, so that would be like, like the answer, right? Okay, then let's go to the next one. We have wonderful. We need to find four words that have similar meaning to wonderful in this case. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic, Fantastic yes. Outstanding. Right? Outstanding. Marvelous. 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 Fabulous. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. Fabulous. Oh, eh, me segundo, guys. Tengo problemas porque yo, yo trabajo en una laptop, entonces eh, el mouse no me sirve por ahora, entonces lo tengo que hacer acá y me cuesta un poco más. So, right, let's uh, do it again. So, fantastic. Then we have outstanding. Excuse me. Marvelous. Marvelous, okay. Marvelous. Fabulous. Then fabulous. Ahí está. Bueno, entonces serían esos cuatro, ¿verdad? Luego vamos con el siguiente, que sería estúpido. Dumb. Dumb. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Silly. 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 Ok. Silly. Absurd. Which one? Absurd. Absurd. This one. Yep. I agree. I totally agree. I strongly agree with that. Yep. Absurd. And then we have the next one, guys, the final. Okay, we have strange. What other? Weird. Weird. Okay, weird. That's weird. Odd. 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 Okay. Bizarre. That's odd. Bizarre. Okay. Bizarre. Bizarre. Okay. Then what else? Unusual. Unusual. Right? Unusual. Unusual. Okay. Right. Very good. There we go. Que ya lo completamos. Guys, así sería básicamente. Ahí lo tenemos. Ya nuestro cuadro llenado de sinónimos, ¿verdad? Tenemos acá estos adjetivos y nosotros eh, hemos colocado por acá eh, los sinónimos de esta lista que tenemos acá. Vale. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a alguna de las palabras que acabamos de ver? Any question, guys? Any concerns about it? Anything that you would like to say? What is the synonym about bizarre? Bizarre. Uh, bizarre is like algo extraño, algo extraño, algo como muy raro, algo muy ajá, raro, diría yo. That's bizarre. Pero raro en una forma fea. Bizarro. Bizarre. Recuerden que en inglés tenemos que a veces pronunciar nosotros como la Z, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros en el español eh, latino que tenemos nosotros no pronunciamos la Z. Nosotros siempre decimos to, todo de la misma forma, ¿verdad? Es como que si fuera ese. Pero en inglés sí es como, tiene como ese sonido de Z, ¿verdad? Como, como un poco de vibración. Bizarre. Sí, teacher, uh -huh. what's the mean uh, out, outstanding uh, in the dictionary uh, uh -huh. pendiente? What's the mean? Outstanding, ok. Um, Outstanding is like, uh, bueno, en este, en este caso el, el sinónimo o la traducción al español sería como uh, excepcional, ¿ok? Oh, okay. Outstanding. Ok, thanks. Casi, you're welcome. Casi siempre que tenemos eh, palabras que tienen como agregado, esto como de out o over, es como, como por encima, ¿ok? Like, overcome es superar, eh, outstanding, the outcome. 
outcome es el resultado y así, entonces es como que algo que está por encima así que ahí lo tenemos guys, outstanding okay. es, es sobresaliente o excepcional ok so you guys okay, are you. outstanding you're welcome, ahí está entonces otra pregunta alguna más What's tenemos odd sorry marvelous Marvelous es como maravilloso. Maravilloso, okay. pero de otra forma. Como una maravilla. Por eso tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, tenemos Marvel. Ustedes conocen a Marvel, ¿verdad? La, la productora. Entonces, Marvel es maravilla. De, de por ahí viene. Es como de lo mismo. Es maravilloso. Okay, so basically are like synonyms. As you can see, we have wonderful. That's basically the one that I think that everybody knows. Like we said, we say wonderful and then we immediately know that that means maravilloso. But then uh, we can say like marvelous and that's like basically the same thing. Fantastic, outstanding, marvelous, fabulous, dumb, ridiculous, silly, absurd. Okay, so we have all those words. Vamos a ver. Entonces, guys, eh, ¿por qué estamos viendo esta parte? Esto es como para que nosotros podamos dar nuestra opinión acerca de algo, ¿verdad? En muchas ocasiones eh, queremos decir qué pensamos acerca de un tema en específico. Las opiniones, guys, eh, básicamente son subjetivas, por así decirlo. Están las opiniones y están los hechos. Opiniones tenemos eh, todos. Eh, y las opiniones a veces son basadas en creencias personales. ¿Ok? So... Basically, uh, if, if you guys want to talk about, uh, let's say, a, a topic, like you, 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 for example, want to talk about uh, politics, for example, then you can say that politics are uh, or is disgusting for you or uh, you think that politi politicians are just absurd or they are uh, silly. You can say things like that, right? So basically, that's the reason why we are uh, checking these adjectives because this is something that you guys can use Uh, so you can give your opinion about something. Vamos a ver. Entonces, déjenme por acá. Perdón, guys. Vamos a salirnos de acá. Vamos a pasar a otra parte. Les voy a explicar un, unas cositas por acá y después vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Así que déjenme hacerlo. Vamos a limpiar aquí todo esto. Ahí está. Bueno, ahí tenemos. All right, there we go. Okay, very good. Good, good. All right, so let's go. Uh, Right, so we have this uh, little, bueno, vamos a hacer algo antes de escuchar esto. Bueno, por acá les quería pre hacer una, presentar por acá esta, estas láminas de PowerPoint. Vamos a ver, so we have this, uh, uh, the de like the definition about opinion, okay? So I don't know if somebody can help me, so you guys can like maybe read uh, this uh, paragraph for me. Vamos a hacerlo así voluntario. Go ahead. Me? Oh, huh? cool. Go ahead. Let uh, me do something first so you can see it. Okay, there we go. Vamos a quitar esto de acá para que pueda ver, Julio. Ahí está. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what is an opinion? An opinion is a statement that expresses a belief, idea, or emotion that is not probable. Opinions are subjective, meaning the, the veracity depends on the person's own, own perception mm -hmm. rather than the objective truth. Mm -hmm. the, the validity of opinions cannot be proven one way or another, but only expressed and defended. Any individual can provide evidence to support their opinion and and convince someone else to hold the same belief. But this does not mean that the opinion can be proven based on this evidence. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Julio. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, uh, just like Julio said, uh, we have uh, the definition here that says an opinion is a statement that expresses a belief, idea, or emotion that is not probable. Opinions are subjective, okay? Subjective, meaning the veracity depends on the person's own perception rather than an objective truth, okay? 
uh, the validity of opinions cannot be proven, uh, proven one way or another, but only expressed and defended. Any individual can provide evidence to support their opinion and convince someone else to hold the same belief. But this does not mean that the opinion can be proven based on this evidence. Okay, so like I mentioned before, guys, basically an opinion is something that um, is like a belief uh, to somebody. So uh, maybe I have an opinion about something and then somebody else can have a different opinion about uh, the same thing. Like, if, for example, I say, um, if I think that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is the best actor uh, in the world, for example, that's my opinion, right? So maybe somebody else has a different opinion about that. So that's exactly what uh, the meaning of opinion is, okay? So vamos a ver, por acá tenemos eh, un par más de, de párrafos, eh, entonces no sé si alguien más me puede ayudar, por favor. Los pongo a leer porque también es importante, guys. A veces creo que nos trabamos un poquito, ¿verdad? Como que la lectura nos falta también. Incluso en español, yo, a veces a mí me cuesta también. All right, so we have Beatriz. Go ahead. Opinions can be as, 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 as some simple, simple. Mm -hmm. as one's favorite one's food, food, or mm -hmm. as significant as the best course of action actions mm -hmm. that a politician uh -huh. could take. Mm -hmm. Neither can be proven as true or false. Very good. Very good, Beatriz. I appreciate that. Thank you. Excellent job. Okay. Bueno, vamos entonces ahora con el siguiente párrafo. Creo que por ahí estaba eh, Carla Delgado. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Opinions can also be general, like a public opinion or attitude on a cert certain subject. They can also be obvious, like boiling water is hot. The word hot is connotative, meaning that it evokes an emotional association rather than an explicit meaning. So while neither, nearly everyone will agree that boiling water is hot, Mm -hmm. It is not a since the world, but it's subjective. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Carla, good job. Okay, so then we have uh, opinions can be as simple as one's favorite food or as significant as the best course of action that a politician could take. Neither can be proven as true or, or false. Okay, so opinions can also be general, like a public opinion or attitude on certain subjects. They can also be obvious, like boiling water is hot. The word hot is connotative, meaning that it evokes an emotion, uh, an emotional association rather than a explicit meaning. So while nearly everyone would agree that boiling water is hot, it is not a fact since the word hot is subjective. Okay? Bueno, entonces acá nos dice... Eh, las opiniones van de, de, de todo tipo, ¿verdad? Puede ser una cosa muy simple como la comida favorita de alguien o eh, el curso de acción de un político, algo que es más significante, ¿verdad? Eh, y luego dice, también puede ser como una opinión pública acerca de algo. Eh, por ejemplo, que el agua eh, hirviendo eh, es caliente. La palabra caliente es eh, subjetiva, ¿ok? Eso es lo que nos dice acá. Eh, ¿Qué es caliente? Dependiendo de a qué nos querramos de referir, ¿verdad? Para mí puede ser que caliente sea 20 grados, para alguien puede que sea 30 grados y así. Entonces, eh, es una opinión generalizada, pero no es subjetivo, ¿ok? No es un hecho, por así decirlo. Mm -hmm. Bueno, entonces, por acá, guys, nosotros tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, aquí hay unos, unos ejemplos, perdón, valga la redundancia, acerca de opiniones, like Uh, we have Columbus Day should not be a holiday in the United States anymore. Okay, so that is an opinion. That's what I think. I mean, somebody else can think something different than me. All right. Uh, then we have Abraham Lincoln was a great man. He was the best president of the United States. Or Paris is the most beautiful city in the world. Okay. And then finally, we have dogs are the best pets because they are the most loyal. Vale, si se fijan acá, en todas las opiniones nosotros estamos dando como eh, una descripción acerca de algo. 
eh, que nosotros pensamos. Por ejemplo, acá eh, fue un gran hombre o es la ciudad más hermosa o son las mejores mascotas. Y en algunas ocasiones utilizamos el verbo should como en una forma de dar como un consejo, ¿verdad? No sé si ustedes recuerdan cuando vieron esa parte del verbo should. Normalmente lo utilizamos para dar como un consejo. Es como una opinión a la misma vez. Consejo. Por ejemplo, si alguien se siente mal, nosotros le decimos, uh, I think that you should see a doctor. Uh, you should see, uh, let's say that if you have uh, a problem with your teeth, then uh, you should see a dentist. Okay, that's my opinion. I think that that would be something good for you. Okay. Entonces, esas son las opiniones. Las podemos dar de esa forma, eh, como una recomendación, o también podemos describir eh, algo. Y esa es nuestra opinión. Okay, es algo relativo. Entonces, por acá, guys, tenemos, eh, no sé si eh, quieren anotar esto o si ya lo tienen. Bueno, si ya lo tienen, entonces vamos a continuar por aquí. Lo voy a avanzar. Vamos a ver por acá. Bueno, entonces acá tenemos eh, diferentes formas de dar nuestra opinión. Okay, so for example, guys, we can say, in my opinion, I think that he is too young to drive. Okay, so again, we are saying like, uh, we are giving an opinion about something and we are using an adjective here, as you can see. So too young. That's what we think. It's my opinion. Okay, then we have the next example that says, I think it's a very good idea. Okay. It's a good idea. That's what I think. Then I'm absolutely convinced that your cat would be safe with us for the weekend. Okay. Eh, otra vez, eh, o sea, hacemos uso de, en este caso, verbos como modales para dar nuestra opinión, ¿verdad? Yo creo que estaría, estoy convencido totalmente, absolutamente, que, bueno, en este caso, tu gato estaría seguro con nosotros el fin de semana. Then, uh, personally, I think the red dress uh, suits you better than the blue one. Okay. Tenemos comparaciones también, ¿verdad? So, personally, I think. Okay. Many, many times, guys, we say, I think, or, uh, uh, you know, I think, uh, I, I'm sure, or I'm convinced. That kind of works. Okay. So, I'm sure you'll be satisfied with, the, with your new nanny. So I'm sure you'll be satisfied with your new nanny. Okay, otra vez, son como verbos modales. En este caso es el verbo will. Okay, I'm sure you will be satisfied with your new nanny. If you ask me, I think that we should rather eat in a restaurant than in the, in the hot kitchen. And then we have uh, two more. Uh, frankly, I think it's a great idea. Uh, or I hope you don't mind me saying this, but your old car was uh, better than the new one, for example. Entonces ahí tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, digamos estas expresiones que podemos utilizar para dar nuestra opinión. Y tenemos otras por acá también. En mi experiencia, hablando por mí mismo, eh, hasta donde yo sé, hasta donde yo eh, sé, eh, la mejor forma de aprender inglés es ir a un país que hable inglés. Casi todas nos involucran a, a nosotros mismos, ¿verdad? Es como que yo pienso en mi opinión, en mi experiencia. Entonces, esas son opiniones, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ya vamos a hacer una actividad acerca de esto, acerca de dar nuestra opinión acerca de algo. Eh, me gustaría que trabajáramos en eso el día de hoy. Pero antes, eh, no sé si tienen alguna duda, antes de que escuchemos un pequeño audio por acá. Vamos a escuchar un audio acerca de... Eh, una actividad que está aquí en, en la plataforma. Okay. Any question, guys? Otherwise, we can just go, we can jump back to the platform so we can uh, take a look on that. Vamos a ver por aquí. Aquí está. Bueno, tenemos esta actividad. Quiero que ustedes escuchen este audio y que tomen notas, por favor. Dice aquí, uh, listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes the way Uh, what they say about each one, okay? 
Uh, okay. Entonces tenemos a unas personas acá hablando acerca de libros y nosotros tenemos que dar, eh, acá vamos a seleccionar las opciones que mejor describan lo que ellos están diciendo, ¿ok? Entonces, por favor, tomen nota. Vamos a escuchar el audio, ¿ok? Vamos aquí. Vamos a ver. Okay, just one second, guys. My computer is running slow today. I don't know why. So here we go. Okay. Hello. Yep. Oh, I Hola. hear. Teacher, I don't Hola. listen. Hear you. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I thought I had turned the sound on. I, I don't know what happened. Probably when I switch, uh, for some reason it didn't it didn't work. I apologize. Bueno, vamos a empezar de nuevo otra vez. Entonces. No sé qué pasó sí. acá, guys. Porque el video anterior creo que sí lo pudieron escuchar, ¿no? No. Es muy, ex muy extraño porque, bueno, creo que le había dado acá, pero no sé por qué se está... Eh, le doy al, al a compartir sonido, pero luego no funciona. Vamos a ver otra vez. Ahora creo que sí. Bueno, vamos a ver ahora si escuchan. Page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Ahora sí pueden escuchar. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I'm teacher. So, I'm yes, so sorry teacher. about that, guys. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know because I, I didn't I didn't know. I, I don't know what happened, but there we go. Gonna do it one more time. Okay. Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. 
Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. All right, guys. So how are you doing so far? Do you have any questions? Uh, were you able to take notes about this? ¿Cómo vamos? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué piensan ustedes acerca de esto? Me gustaría que me den ustedes sus opiniones. Vamos a ver. Ya hemos visto por acá cómo dar nuestras opiniones acerca de algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Tenemos diferentes expresiones, ¿ok? So, uh, what do you think about, like, let's say, for example, the first uh, conversation? I, I think that they are talking about um, a movie, I guess. Vamos a ver otra vez. Page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Vale, entonces acá nos dice al principio, que How do you like it? ¿Qué queremos decir con eso? How do you like it? ¿Qué te gustó? ¿Qué te gusta? ¿Seguros? ¿Qué te pareció? Ah, ¿Qué te pareció, ya? Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sería. ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué te pareció? En este caso, ¿verdad? No es como te gusta. ¿Okay? Así parece, así como es como que la traducción literal, ¿verdad? pero no es así. Entonces, ¿qué te parece? Entonces nos dice... Eh, ¿Qué, ¿Qué pensamos nosotros? ¿Pensamos de que ellos recomendarían la película o recomendarían el libro? ¿Qué pensamos acerca de lo que ellos están diciendo? ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, al principio, la primera conversación, están hablando acerca del el nuevo libro de Stephen King, creo yo. Entonces, ¿qué pensamos acerca de lo que, basados en lo que ellos están diciendo, lo recomendarían, sí o no? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Vamos a ver. Vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out. But what, what did you guys think about the first one? Uh, do you think that she would recommend the book? And why? I think she recommends the book uh, since she she started to to read it. Uh, he got um, she uh, she didn't uh, she didn't take. Uh, we can say Julio that she didn't want to stop once she started. Uh, she didn't she want didn't, it to stop. She That's... didn't want to stop. I mean, she was really excited. Uh, about the book so once she started then uh, she wanted to read more and more <laughs> right so muy bien muy bien Julio ya ven entonces ahí vamos verdad eh, a veces necesitamos ejercitar esta parte verdad tal vez en la cabeza pensamos ya ya lo tengo todo pero ya a la hora de hablar como que no nos salen las palabras así que muy buen trabajo Julio y por favor los demás también practiquemos verdad vamos a ver Vamos a darle otra vez. Permítame un segundo, guys. A veces tengo que recargarlo, así que lo vamos a recargar. Uh, vamos a ver. All right, guys, I'm sorry about this. There we go. Page 88. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. 
and I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. All right, what about this one, guys? What do you think? Do you think that he would recommend that movie based on what he said? No, because because he 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 fell asleep asleep, uh, and, and he thinks the 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 act the actor, uh, has uh, has played a better, um, better. I I I don't know roles 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 mm -hmm. better roles. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So basically, he said that uh, he left the, the like the room like in the middle of the movie, and he also said that the movie was dull. Do you know what dull means? What is the meaning of dull, guys? Do you know? No. Dull is like boring. Okay. It was boring, so that's the reason why he just walked out. Dol es como aburrido. Se deletrea como D-U-L-L. Dol. Dol. D-U-L-L. Dol. Es como Dol. Ok. Bueno, entonces no la recomendaría, ¿verdad? Right, so let's go to the next one, guys. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. All right, what about this one, guys? Good or not? <laughs> what do you guys think? Good, good teacher. Excuse me? Good. Good, okay. Good. And why? Because uh, he mentioned uh, it was amazing. It was amazing, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. And what else can you tell me about that, Francisco? Um... Uh, he mentioned uh, a different kinds uh, animals, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, and photograph, photograph. Okay, very good, very very good. Muy bien, guys. Muchas gracias, Francisco. Excelente. Entonces, eh, bueno, ya ven acá podemos eh, nosotros <laughs> basados en lo que escuchamos, ¿verdad? Experiencias de alguien más, podemos dar nuestras opiniones. De hecho, acá pues todavía podíamos utilizar más eh, de lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh, in my opinion, I think that uh, he would recommend the movie because uh, he said that it was amazing and that uh, the movie really made him want to go there, for example, because that's what he said, right? It seems like he really liked it, so he actually even wanted to uh, travel to that Uh, country because he liked it a lot okay for example and then uh, you can say I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm absolutely convinced that he would like to uh, he would recommend that movie because uh, he loved it for example so we can say a lot of things but very good job very good job guys I really appreciate uh, all of your uh, participations and you're, you're doing an excellent job okay so let's keep it up bueno eh, vamos a hacer una cosa guys eh, para que podamos practicar más, ¿verdad? Que todos hablen, porque eso es importante, quiero que todos hablen. Este, vamos a hacer una actividad aquí de unos minutitos en los cuales ustedes puedan practicar entre ustedes. Eh, vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer como parejas, como siempre. Y quiero que ustedes eh, se formulen como escenarios, digamos, que fueran imaginarios o de la vida real también. Por ejemplo, ¿qué piensan ustedes acerca de cuál es su opinión acerca de que no se permitan celulares en las escuelas. Por ejemplo, what do you guys think about that? 
then you can discuss about that, for example. Well, I personally think that that would be a good idea because uh, if uh, students don't have a cell phone, uh, I think that uh, they would pay more attention to the class, for example. You can say something like that. Or if you disagree, then you can say uh, after one of you is done, then the other person can say, uh, I thoroughly agree. Or you can say, I disagree. Okay. For example, we have uh, here, aquí tenemos esta, esta parte en la cual eh, vamos, a, vamos a poder auxiliarnos también de esto. Por ejemplo, eh, como les acabo de mencionar, pero uno de ustedes le pregunta, hey, ¿qué, ¿qué piensas acerca de, por ejemplo, eh, esto, uh, de la educación? La otra persona da su opinión acerca de eso. Y luego, pues, al terminar, la otra persona puede decir, uh, yes, I agree, or uh, I disagree. So, no, I don't think so. O, yes, I agree with you. We have these expressions, guys, that you can use so you can agree or so you can disagree. Okay? Mucha, muchas veces creo que eh, traigo esto también para que lo podamos practicar porque a veces no estamos muy seguros acerca de cómo estar de acuerdo o estar en desacuerdo. Entonces, vamos a utilizar esto eh, para que ustedes puedan eh, practicar. Okay? Nos queda claro más o menos lo que vamos a hacer. Es bastante libre, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden elegir un tema. Uh, and then uh, you can talk about that topic. You can say, uh, yes, I think that it would be a good idea or no, I, I think that that is not something good. I think that we should do something different, for example. And then uh, we can just practice for a couple of minutes, okay? No. Bueno, entonces, eh, si no hay preguntas, guys, vamos a practicar unos minutitos antes de que nos vayamos. Aquí vamos, entonces, le voy a pasar también estas, eh, estas imágenes eh, por WhatsApp para que las tengan ahí a la mano. Oh, teacher, sí, excuse dígame. me. Maybe at the end of the class we can we can uh, eh, we can see the the the, the exam the meals there mm -hmm. because uh, I still have a, a problem with that with a uh, sentence. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it, I haven't it, resolved it yet. Is it still the same one that you told me before, like a couple of yeah. weeks ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I see. Yeah, we can take a look on that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bueno, entonces vamos eh, ya al final, si no, vamos a ver eso. Ok, no hay problema. Tenemos hasta mañana, de hecho. Así que si no lo hacemos ahora, también tenemos el día de mañana. Ok, don't worry. Bueno, aquí vamos. Okay, so we have like about 10 minutes. So we can do this. Ok, ahí vamos. Ahorita. Ahí está. There we go.
Hola, buenas noches. Hi. Ok. What is the topic? Uh, the, the exercise is uh, the <clears throat> statement with the uh, use the um, um, uh, con las uh, frases de dar opinión las que acabamos de ver eso entiendo que era lo que vamos a hacer ahorita yes Nos pero y vamos a escoger como un tema y usando okay. esas esas uh, okay. frases ok qué le gustaría por ejemplo ah no han escogido no es que no... no no sacó a todos creo yo de la, ah, de sí, la yo estaba sola la cámara en el grupo. sí yo también estaba sola ah, este bueno. eh, y de qué podríamos hablar podría ser quizás eh... about the weather maybe de sí. del clima no sé <ríe> se me ocurre sí. Sí. sí ahorita mucho calor <ríe> it's, it's very hot, hot. it's very uh -huh. hot today yeah. really yes but in sometimes oh it's very difficult ah no sé qué eh... Beatriz. Yes. But the reality is is other because the book editor uh, in the actuality uh, they uh, they okay. On the field, the phones. Sorry. Uh, uh, the, 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 well, well, my son in the school, they don't have book. They have a tablet. In the tablet, they uh, search the class and all and 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 for this is my opinion. The reality is another. The the, uh -huh, la, the literal uh, they don't. Self book, they sell platforms. But uh, the technology is became becomes too important for the school, for the company, for example. But uh, I can different that that use. Yes, it's different use. You may me remember uh, 10 years ago, for example, when in school that didn't exist. They're making, uh, they're making some works on the streets uh, to put uh the lines the electric lines uh under the <laughs> so they they uh they are they are um, making some works so some some streets are closed 
some uh, some are restricted to to pass by to use yeah. uh, the way to work so you have to 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 find a another way to to get to get to work so uh, yeah. it takes uh it takes uh so more time to to uh, we have to drive uh, you have to to be to watch out the uh, the buses the motorcycles and yeah, <laughs> yeah because they're uh I don't know how do you say in, in English uh um son locos al volante crazy driving <laughs> maybe <laughs> It is very difficult. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. So, um, so I have to 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 be out at that time in the morning. Yeah, and then uh, to go out of uh, to go out of work. It's so difficult to to get to get out uh, from San Salvador because the traffic is it's yeah. almost stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it Indeed. takes the, it takes like two hours to get uh, to get home. <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the same the same for me. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, uh, for example. Uh, uh, Alrighty, so well, hello guys. Thank you for staying until the end. Thank you. Right, there we go. Okay, thank you guys. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos por quedarse. Eh, los estaba escuchando por ahí. Así que muy bueno. <ríe> muy bueno que participen, que se hagan el, un esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que <ríe> a veces nos da un poquito de pena y todo eso, pero muy bien, guys. Muy buen trabajo. Vaya, este, vamos a quedar hasta aquí por ahora con respecto a lo de que me mencionaba Julio. Mañana vamos a hacer dos cosas. Te voy a compartir aquí por última vez, antes de que nos vayamos. Pero mañana vamos a terminar este tema que se nos, que nos hizo falta. Vamos a ir rapidito y vamos a resolver también el examen. ¿okay? No sé en qué parte, creo que era una oración en específico, ¿verdad Julio? Solamente una, ¿correcto? No sé cuál era exactamente. ¿Julio? It's the third one, I think. Number three. Uh -huh. This one? I think I sent no, you the answer. Uh, say, uh -huh. yeah, I, I brought it like you, like you sent send it to me, but it didn't work. 
Okay. It's really weird because. Uh, vamos a ver. Acá, el primero es. Es. Let me see. No. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Part two. It's uh, you have uh, we have to rewrite the 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 sentences. Mm -hmm. And oh. it's uh, it's let me see. I think that this is it. Yep, this okay. is it. All right, so let me show you this. This is like the answers right here. Uh, yeah. Matter. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, try to put it in. See? ¿Sí? Vamos a ver. All right, so as you can see, if I just put it in just like that, it, it works. So. I don't know why, but but I don't know if you if you uh, if you can check from your uh from your platform, but it's <laughs> I think I I've I have written yeah. in a... yeah I know I know last time you sent it uh in the chat and I I was able to notice that uh, so yeah okay I just send it to you again so maybe you can give it a try maybe just copy and then paste it and maybe that can help. So, ok, thank you. You're welcome. Entonces, eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta allí, guys. Eh, vamos a estar el día de mañana, es la última clase de la semana. Eh, como les digo, vamos a hacer esa clase que nos hizo falta y el examen. Eso sería todo. Así que, bueno, guys, uh, thank you so much for coming one more time. And I hope you guys enjoy your evening. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Thank See you, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.